Welcome to my channel. We are doing a biology practical on tests for non reusing sugars. This practical takes more time compared to the tests for reducing sugars. If you want to know the reason why, I invite you to watch until the end. For this practical activity, we require solution Z. This is going to be our food substance. We need Benedict's solution. This is the one blue color. We also need hydrochloric acid and we need sodium, hydrogen, carbonate. For the procedure, we are going to measure about 2 cubic centimeters of our food substance, the solution Z. And we are using very little amounts. And then we are going to add 4 drops of hydrochloric acid. Four of them. And then I shake. And then I'm going to heat in my hot water bath to make the reaction occur faster. After heating for three minutes, we are then going to take it into cold water for it to cool before we continue. The solution is cold. I'm then going to add drops of sodium hydrogen carbonate and I'm going to do this dropwise until fizzing stops. Fizzing is also called effervescence or you can also use the term bubbling. So once I see bubbles stop, that is when I'm going to add Benedict solution. So let me add sodium hydrogen carbonate dropwise. So I'll continue doing this until I don't see any more bubbles or until there's no fizzing. This is essentially to make sure that the reaction between the acid and the base is over. This is the reason why we should make sure at, at the first point, at the first procedure, first step, we measure a small amount of the food substance because if you measure too much, you may find your test tube is full and yet you are not done with your experiment. You can see as if the bubbles are reducing and no more bubbles are being formed. So I'm then going to add an equal amount of Benedict solution. So it was similar to some few drops. And after I've done this, I'm then going to put this solution into again the hot water bath and observe for color change. We are going to heat as we observe for color change. After adding the Benedict solution, it was blue. So we want to see if we are able to identify any other color. And we need to be very careful. If you see, if you look at it, I can see already there's color change. It was a slight green, now it is yellow. And as I continue heating, I can see the intensity of the yellow continues to grow. So I'll continue to heat until either there is no further change or if there is any other change, I'm able to tell as to which color. So the yellow is changing now to an orange color. So let us heat and see whether it is going to change any further. As I continue to heat, I don't see as if the color is changing. So I can really say that the final color I have is orange. And if I'm able to establish this color, so I started with blue and then I formed the green. I went to yellow and light now I have the last color is orange. And this proves or shows the presence of non-reducing sugars. So if I have orange, this indicates I have a lot of non-reducing sugars present. The color yellow shows average amount of reducing sugars present and the green color shows a little amount of non-reducing sugars present. Therefore, in my experiment, I'm able to tell that a lot of 
not reducing sugars while present. Watching, kindly remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more educational videos.